What is going on guys? Welcome to the Jaff Man. I'm your host Jaff. Today we're going to be talking about childhood heroes. On this video specifically, it's going to be about Optimus Prime. He's been around since it was the original Transformers, Beast Wars, then there was one in Cybertron, can't remember the name, where they were like organic fusion material, whatever. Then there were some kiddie ones that I never watched. But whether you watch the movies, the cartoons, or the original anime series, He's been a hero to a lot of us and today we're going to show you a hero reincarnation that costs £370 for a damn toy geared towards adults no kid could no kid could no kid could probably ever transform this enough of me talking let's just get into it so at this point let's get the unboxing out the way now this was a pre-order version from TFS Express so you might not get these first two accessories. This is essentially a little pin badge and it looks very nice. I probably won't rock it unless I'm going to something like Comic Con or some other nerdy comical anime type event. And you also get this snazzy little t-shirt. This was quite nice. Too bad I'm a bit round round the edges and this size doesn't fit me but hopefully in a few months when I make a transformation physically it may fit me a lot better. But nevertheless, it's quite nice. Now, if we get this box out, we can see all the animations on the boxes. The boxes, there's just one box, but it is littered with anime, cartoon, graphics all over, especially the front and the rear. Not very high quality, but it still looks good and encapsulates what this figure is all about. It best have some of this, especially at this price point. I wish the price not the price sorry i wish the print was a lot nicer it's not very high quality and then at the butt end or the bottom end my box is a little damaged on the left corner very sad we get a lot of japanese stuff and basically an overview of everything that's inside essentially the car cab trailer gun axe little beam things the little car, the little repair bot, some oil can repair tool, jetpack and a bunch of other things which we're going to go into in just a second. But it's all very nice at this stage, get the little trusty knife out, take it out of the box and we can really see what things are inside. Now at this stage it is very easy to get overwhelmed when you look at this instruction manual. A whole load of instructions, I didn't follow any of it. I watched a video which was in stop motion to figure out how to exactly transform this and I'll link it below. You don't get a master coin but you get a little card with some made up stats which is all irrelevant anyways. Now you get three different heads other than the one connected. Three humans, a die cast, matrix of leadership and everything else that you can really see there. So at this stage I think I'll get the cab out or the trailer Riri and check out if the wheels are made out of rubber, which they don't really seem to be. On MP01 and MP10 they were definitely rubber but not in this case. But at least you get a spare wheel that's got a little screw in it so maybe you can change the wheels out if you really need to. Probably not but a nice little concept. The whole thing is painted very nice, you get these little extended feet to stabilise it when it's on its Jack Jones. And everything does seem to be made at least very nicely and put together very nicely and I don't really think you can swap these wheels as I've said already but you can open the rear up and you can fit the smaller Autobot toys that we've seen like, like Jazz and some of the other smaller transformable figures. And they can all fit in there. I think you can fit about a maximum of four. It's got little magnetic strips to put the energy roller. You can stand Optimus up here if you really wanted. And really, this thing is something that I never really utilize. Now, the blaster, annoying little blaster, double jointed, folds. I don't know why it folds. I don't know what little kid is going to try hide it inside Optimus Prime because this figure is clearly for adults. Because no little kid that I could ever imagine could transform this damn thing without breaking it. Even my wife was damn scared of even holding it after she saw how long it took me. Probably about a 20 minute transformation on your first go, even if you're watching somebody else's video explaining the whole thing. Here's the little jetpack. Wish these little jet things were movable, but they're not. But you could clip on or push fit these little 
fire replica things which makes it look really really cool at this point there are quite a few other things to show you this is star screams little jet blade things that he has which will give it a bit more of a signature look you have a battle damage lower chest piece keep on chest piece probably like a lower stomach piece it's a little clip on to signify when megatron blasted optimus in the original g1 movie some other little repair thing which i don't know how to utilize and i'll probably leave it in the box and there are some other gubbins which i hope hurries the hell up and gets out at this stage because i don't know what i'm meant to be saying because i didn't have a script now here's a little plastic piece that i don't know what on earth it is and even by the time of recording this video i had no idea what it was what else we got this little roller car that can fit the humans the wheels are not made out of rubber but the back bit clips out or spins and you can attach the trailer to this and it looks all right i think we've seen a few iterations of this they haven't really improved it it's just a cheap piece of plastic that's painted and serves no purpose other than going back in the box for me this thing on the other hand is not too bad this is the repair drone and it has dual purposes it has very strong ratchets and it's like a three-way bend you've got three pivots and uh, two arms basically that give you quite a bit of articulation and the wheel area folds down flat so you could double this up as a display stand and gives you a bit more of a surface area for the figure to be sturdy and not fall over with the wind this little repair drone has a little articulating arm which yeah great i mean whatever and then this thing opens up so you can fit one of those little humans inside the blasters can slide forward i mean something i forgot to show on video and figured out after here's optimus none of his wheels are, but none of the others either and maybe it will help towards the rubber not deteriorating over time and keep it looking uniform here's the truck and the cab fitted together it gets the spin because it's got this little pivoty bit at the very bottom and here's the cab on its own with its feet extended out so it can stand straight and have these things extend out to the side should you wish to do anything other than look at it and put it back in the box oh man this has been long so this is the truck bit and i wish i had a better lazy susan because this thing is so wobbly and i will be getting one for any next video that i get to use one in got folding chromed side mirrors i don't know what you call them in the usa but you get to see all the other chrome accents on the wheels the gas tanks something else on the other side but i wish the exhaust were bigger now here it is transformed and as i said earlier this thing took me for bloody ever i will link the video i followed from somebody else's channel which i was reliant upon to get this transformation done I just thought I'll add this in here. This is an old MP01 head, the first ever masterpiece figurine, and it had this little cool feature. It had a little button where you could replicate it talking. Hey, I'm the original Optimus Prime. Who are you? You're an imposter. Now, the hand just pulls off, and you can clip on the Energon axe, similar to MP10 in some ways, and here you can see the whole thing. Uh, posed in one orientation and it's very very flexible you can see the little hip skirt thing goes in when you bend the foot forward and here we can see a recreation of Megatron whooping Optimus's ass and how he looks before he died you kind of get to recreate that G1 moment here's Starscream and the little winglets do really add a layer of authenticity to this I don't know why you'd ever do this, but hey, they include it some way to justify, justify that 370 price tag. Now here's Optimus MP44 next to some other figures. You've got Masterpiece Grimlock on the left and MX Apollyon, which is a third party knockoff of Megatron, but he's not too small compared to the others. Now, this is in its best form. Optimus is now pegged on the display stand thing, which is the repair drone. And I think this way you get to have it looking in its best form. You can have it in any pose pretty much, but just make sure the top bit isn't as loose as mine is because the feet is propping it up. Matrix of leadership made out of die cast, but the windows look a bit rubbish on this version compared to previous gents. 
Optimus Prime, £370. The previous version was MP10, which was, an, uh, well, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight years ago. I understand the engineering required to make these toys has advanced a lot. They do give you a lot more accessories than they used to, but it's not worth £370. It's for some crazy adult collector who's got some disposable income, who's a big fanboy like me, like the other people who have purchased this and maybe yourselves because you're watching this because if you're watching this chances are you're either thinking about it might have thought about it or you're going to buy one and you're looking for reassurance from other like-minded people because that's the whole point of youtube in some ways so with all this said if you're a big fan there's no better first party alternative if you're a big boy fan there's no better first party alternative to getting this version and you might as well get a knockoff one if you can't afford it it looks the same it represents optimus prime so if you did like this unboxing did like hearing me talk for a few minutes make sure you give us a like if you didn't like me give it a dislike but try go easy on that button make sure you subscribe make sure you talk to me in the comments below and as ever i will catch you guys in the next one